Hello, I'm Dr. Marty Ross. In this video, learn how to use my favorite two herbal antibiotics for treating Lyme disease. They're Otoba Bark and Cat's Claw. To learn how to dose them, be sure to click on the link to a full written article I have in the description for this video. Treat Lyme is supported by purchases you make through Marty Ross MD Supplements. When it comes to treating Lyme, my favorite two herbs are uh, to use a combination of Cat's Claw and Otoba Bark Extract. Now, both of those herbs are found in something called a Cowden Protocol. Um, there was some Petri dish experiments published about them eh, probably about four or five years ago now. Um, a researcher named Eva Choppy, that's S-A-P-I, um, out of her lab in New Haven, Connecticut, did some Petri dish experiments to just look at you know, what herbs work best, what prescriptions work best. And although it's hard to sometimes say whether a Petri dish experiment actually gives you an idea of what's going to happen in a human, they give you insights and they give you ideas of things to try. Okay, so her experiment showed that um, these two herbs together individually did a good job of killing spirochete and um, getting rid of round bodies and getting rid of biofilm slime layers that uh, cover Lyme germs. Each individually did a good job, all right? And, but when you put the two together, there was just astronomical whopping kill, all right? And in fact, together, they got rid of almost 100% of biofilm communities as well, too. So biofilms, everyone, is a slime layer that um, Lyme grows to cover itself and protect itself from the immune system and to keep antibiotics out, basically, all right? So based on those studies, I started working with those two herbs. And in my clinical experience, what I found is that they work about 85 to 90% of the time, meaning those two herbs work um, at the, you know, have as good of a chance of working as prescription antibiotics, okay? Now I said 85 to 90%. That means they don't work 10 to 15% of the time, okay? But on the whole, I found that they have as good of a chance of helping as prescription antibiotics, okay? So in terms of, of what to use, those are my two faves, okay?